one step forward, two steps back. In other words, Hillary skates again. Jess, when we start to see progress on the Durham investigation with FBI attorney Kevin Kleinsmith pleading guilty to falsifying a document about Carter Page, though he still ludicrously insists he didn't intend to mislead, we learn that three judges on the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals have unanimously reversed a lower court decision that Hillary Clinton would have to sit for a deposition over her use of a private email server for government work while she was Secretary of State. Judicial Watch, a part of Freedom of Information Act lawsuit that dates back to 2014, had requested depositions from both Hillary and her then attorney, Cheryl Mills, over the emails. And this request had been granted by Washington, D.C. District Court Judge Royce Lamberth. The suit was initiated when Judicial Watch was trying to look into what happened during the attack on our consulate in Benghazi, Libya, but then got expanded when they discovered in that investigation that then Secretary of State Clinton was using her own private email server at the time. In fact, if it didn't, hadn't been for that investigation, we might never have learned about her private server. As it was, the questioning of Hillary would have been limited in scope, but now it won't be happening at all. The decision didn't change the lower court's ruling on Mills, however. The three-judge panel was made up of two Obama appointees and one appointed by George W. Bush. Judge Robert Wilkins, an Obama pick, wrote, and I quote, the mere suspension of bad faith on the part of the government cannot be used as a dragnet to authorize voluminous discovery that is irrelevant to the remaining issues in a case, end quote. Make of that what you will, but be sure and compare it to other situations such as the use of a dragnet for the past four years to try to get Trump on something, anything, long after the original issue in the Trump-Russia investigation had been resolved. Wilkins also said that Hillary Clinton shouldn't have to sit for a deposition because she'd already provided written answers in a separate case. At that time, she wrote that the reason she used a private server was for convenience. Ah, oh, well. That's good enough for me. Why doesn't everyone in government just use their own servers? I mean, it would be so much easier. As the Epic Times reports, Wilkins further noted that Congress, the FBI, and the State Department have also investigated Hillary Clinton's email situation. Ah, uh, yes. We all know how thoroughly James Comey's FBI investigated Hillary during her mid-year exam. The State Department covered for their former secretary they said that even though they had found nearly 600 security violations, they couldn't find persuasive evidence of systemic, deliberate mishandling of classified information. As for Congress, that ship sailed in 2018. Try getting Gerald Nadler's Judiciary Committee or any other Democrat-led congressional committee to do anything about Hillary Clinton's emails and her blatant obstruction of justice and just see how far you get. Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch, said he is disappointed, and he called the decision political. He said it's contrary to long-standing precedent and undermines the Freedom of Information Act. Indeed, it does. So it looks as though just because Hillary gave some lame written answers in another case, she doesn't ever have to sit for questioning about her email server. Not at all. And even though the court's decision didn't include Cheryl Mills, whom they say has other ways to appeal her deposition that were not available to Hillary Clinton, my guess is they were referring to Mills' ability to cite attorney-client privilege, which of course she will. Gosh, Hillary, it's so convenient to have an aide who is also your attorney, or who at least was at the time, and therefore can't be questioned about anything you communicated to her. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel below and clicking the notification bell. Leave a like and a comment and share this video with people that you think it'll make angry. Yeah. If you want more of my news analysis and commentary, sign up for my totally free newsletter at MikeHuckabee.com. That's it for this edition of The Breakdown. I'm Mike Huckabee.